So today, guys, we're going to show you how to turn this into a 3D drawing. So let's get right into it. Hey, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to be turning a two-dimensional floor plan into a three-dimensional model. So the first thing I want you guys to do is draw a two-dimensional floor plan. You can draw it however you want, like. We do have a tutorial for that in the top right-hand corner. You'll see that. Go check that out. And then when you're done watching that video, come back here and we'll continue from there. So once you get your basic floor plan done, the next thing we want to do is create an extrude of our walls. And we're going to want to do it for our doors too. One thing I want to note is I am only going to use doors and walls in this example because doing windows, doors, and walls would take too much time. Uh, and it follows the same principle, so there's no use in really repeating it. But you can repeat it when you're doing your windows. So add windows, add doors, do whatever you need to, just follow the same principle. So what we're going to do first is we're going to extrude the walls, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to come here and you want to go into your 3D view. So come here and click on this bottom right-hand corner of our box. So just go and click that. And then you're going to see that we're going to be taken to our three-dimensional drawing plane. So what we want to do now is extrude. So once you're in your three-dimensional plane, I want you to select your walls, and then I want you to type in, or you can come up here, go to this drop-down menu and go to 3D Basics or 3D Modeling. I'm going to do 3D Modeling. So come here and you're going to see there's an extrude command. You can click that, select your walls, and extrude up. I'm just going to select it, type in extrude, press enter, and you're going to see that I can now create my walls. Uh, one thing to note is if you haven't already and you don't know how to just type in commands, I have a tips and tricks video right there as well. Go check that out and we go over how to get that command going. So what we're going to want to do in this case is determine how high up we want our walls to be. So in our case here, I'm thinking we probably want them to be uh, about 10 feet. So we're going to do 10 foot, nah, let's do 9. Let's do 9 feet. We're going to do that. Make sure you're extruding up in the Z direction and you're not going down in that direction or else your walls are going to be opposite to what you you know want it and it'll be going into the ground instead of above the ground so once that's done press enter and you're going to have your walls extruded one thing to note is when you do extrude you're going to see we have it in wireframe if you come up here to this setting right up here if you follow my mouse you're going to see that we have a few options for what we can do there's realistic so you're going to see that we have realistic inner and outer walls in our drawing you can see we can do shaded, you know, with edges, and then you can see we got wireframe, we've got x-ray. So these are all just different views. Hey, if you like the videos so far, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and thank you for your support. If you're new to AutoCAD and you want to learn how to use the program as a professional, or you're starting a career in architecture, civil engineering, or even urban design, or you're just interested in AutoCAD, go check out the webinar. We're going to be hosting a webinar soon. If you're interested in that, go to the sign up page and you'll get a link to that and you'll be able to join our webinar and you're going to get a lot of useful, good information in that webinar. So go check that out down in the description. So what you're going to see here is since we have our drawing now, you're going to notice we also have our doors. So if you come back here and you click top, you're going to see that we still have our doors here. And if you click on the side, you're going to see our doors are would be really tall here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fill in this gap and determine how tall our doors are. Um, for this sake of this, um, our doors are going to be about six and a half feet tall. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this work. There are a few ways how to do this. So go back into your 2D top-down view. Uh, and I'm going to show you the way that a few people I know do it. So what you're going to want to do is come to polyline or rectangle or whatever works. And you're going to want to pretty much draw and close off this space here. So we're going to go and do that. And then we're going to do the same over here with this door. So we're going to go and do this. And then we're going to have now a 2D line there. And we're going to have a 2D line here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select our 2D lines. And you're going to see that uh, these two 2D lines, I'm going to select them both and work on them both at once because they're going to be the same. It's going to be the same principle. It's going to be the same height and everything. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to extrude these now. So I'm going to go back into this view here. I'm going to go back to 3D modeling. I'm going to switch back to the 2D wireframe. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to extrude and create that wall portion. So we're going to go and select above our doors. And then we're going to type in extrude. You're going to see the extrude command is going to come up. Press that. And we're going to want to go up, I've already run the math, 2 feet 6 inches. Once that's done, we're going to select our two, um, our two wall portions here. And we're going to want to move it. One thing to note is when you're moving things in 3D, it can be very, very tricky. 
um, I'm moving both of them at once and I'm snapping them to the same to a, the same point because um, they won't move relative to each other so it's going to be exactly where I need it on the other part too. So I'm just going to go and click it and put it in this corner here and then what we're going to see is if we come back to the conceptual view you're going to see we now have a portion of our wall up here. So the same principle is going to apply for the doors. So we're going to select our doors and we're going to extrude them. So I'm just going to do this one as an example. You can do the other one by yourself or however many you have in your drawing. We're going to select our door. We're going to type in extrude. Press enter. Specify the height up to where um, our, um, our wall meets with it. Or and if you want, you can create around your door. You should be able to create, or I would recommend probably creating your frame for the door. But in this example, I'm keeping it simple. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So you're going to see if we go to this one here, I'm going to change the layer back to door. And then I'm going to shrink just a little bit. And then I'm going to extrude this as well. And I'm going to go up. And I'm going to go up 6 feet 6 inches. And we have our door. So if I go then and I go to the right side view, you're going to see you can see the blue. And then if I go back to 3D modeling, one thing to note is you will be switching back from 3D modeling and 2D all the time. Um, but if you come here and go to conceptual, you're going to see we now have our door, and it is you know in our in our wall, and it looks good. So that's how you can turn a 2D model, 2D floor plan kind of into a three-dimensional object. Now, of course, there's wall, there's there's windows, and there's there's roofs, and there's other things you need to do in this foundations. Um, this is just going to be a part one. If the series does well enough, we're going to be doing a part two and a part three on we're going to do roofs and we're going to do foundations. So stick around for those. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.